Hello, this is a new video. It's Wednesday, 14 February 2018. It is 5.29 in the morning. I was only granted, oh, I don't know, two, three hours of sleep before they figured they should wake me with torches. So here I am allowing myself to be tortured and all the while just clicking around happily on the internet, doing a bit of research for all kinds of things. When, by roots obscure and lonely, via the everything is linked with everything on the internet, I actually figured let's check back into some of the statistic material of the provinces of Thailand and I never quite care about not that it really makes a difference because they are what they are to uh, put links in here in this column to the provincial capitals of each of the provinces and one of them was Yilava and from that Wikipedia website entry I clicked a few more and wound up at another place in Thailand, namely, um, I'll take this to the, I'm going to hear the German version, I'll take this to the English version, just for the international audience. So, <coughs> here I'm <coughs> at the website of Most, and there's, in fact, this is very interesting, in fact, here at the English version, there's just a handful of photographs, in fact, one, two, three photographs, is a little disappointing because if you click on the German website or the German version of this web page you see that there's quite a few more photographs of it including all kinds of statues and whatnot uh, including a racetrack near most and including what is this yes including this photograph now, uh, let, let me take you back to, to the old topic of their model terrain alleged aerial photography shit. I did in the past actually uh, give an example in videos and emails to the then former so still calling itself uh, Ministry of Defense in the former United Kingdom. I would rather have what they claim as a satellite, thank you. And I demonstrated the situation that you had in Arundel. I don't know why this takes so there. I don't know why this takes so long, but be that as it may. And I demonstrated how this was very sloppy. Uh, very sloppy model terrain models this takes forever to load and they've actually changed or it still doesn't load it quite right. You know, they've changed what set of photography they used for this, and they went completely around. Well, as I have established long in the past, they've been making model terrains of shit and sell them as alleged aerial photographies and so on and so forth. Now, what has that got to do with most? The first thing I noted is this here and please go look at the original URL where you see the original photo because this video as it will be uh, found on YouTube will be lowered in resolution and you will not see these photos as perfectly clearly as you would see if you simply go to the right URL and look at it yourself this is a nice example again of a terrain table this racetrack this is all fake landscape. This is all fake. They have fake little motor drive, motorcycle drivers here and so on. This is all fake fuckery. But here is a racetrack. Okay, so this is once more the kind of fake fuckery uh, where they actually work with... Over here you can see it ever so slightly how about here where I'm moving the cursor right now is a different batch of model trees 
which are a different set of green hues in color. They are not nicely distributed as it would be in nature and so on and so forth. This is all just, and of course there is no depth blur. In fact, there is, if you pay precise attention, several depth focuses, foci, so to speak, and so on and so forth. When this is allegedly just one shot, because look at all the motorcycle drivers, this is just one shot, they're not even moving, even though knowing these motorcycles for what they are, they'd be going pretty fast here at this little straight. But so be it, no it's not this straight still. Now that just as yet further example, I mean the int all internet maps are full of this shit. The, the funny thing about, or well, the interesting thing, it's not funny, but the interesting thing about this photograph is that it is allegedly uploaded by the user Autodrome Most. This is the Autodrome Most and allegedly they uploaded it themselves. Which I seriously doubt because I'm perfectly sure that the people who operate the racetrack have nothing to do with making fake terrain. But, but if you follow me here, if you look at other photographs such as this one specifically. <coughs> now here you have an interesting thing because even without yet more clicking it to get full size display, this is at first glance model. And this is one of these things where at first glance against model, the interesting thing is clicking it for full size. There, there's the full size. The interesting thing is this time around they actually bothered with partial photography again because these are actually real cars that he partially photographed and put in there whereas in the tracks here are fake uh, these in the foreground and deliberately kept in order to claim that it's real but it's not real and it is clearly fake model terrain this is not real trees this is not real bushes this is not real grass these buildings here are all model terrain and I was looking at this Okay, now follow me on, on why I chose to record this here video. I was looking at this and I asked myself, why the fuck do people do this? N namely, in this particular photograph. This is not a military installation. This is not something like Arundel. This is not anything that is of any importance. Uh, you know, <coughs> if it's if it's proving their obscenity and insanity to people. Oh, no one has doubts about their obscenity and insanity. That needn't be proved. Why do people go to the great lengths to make something like this? Because, you know, partially it's little elements that are photographed into it, but from what you see here, most of it is actually miniature and terrain at different uh, stages and maybe towards the back. I didn't analyze it that closely. Uh, at different scales that they try to blend together in some kind of uh, in some kind of unnatural namely not continuously but unnatural but covered unnatural transgression of steps in scale that by choosing the point of or the angle and the perspective was attempted to be covered over by say trees here and there buildings here and there and so on and so forth they they try to mess around a little so that it's not blatantly obvious just that this is blatantly obvious and i always ask myself why do people make this specific one for example okay this specific one why everybody knows the people responsible for this are insane and by the way on Albion, originally, these terrain tables were made, not, not this here, right? I mean, way back when, these terrain tables were made for the military, for military simulation purposes. That is not what this here is. Namely, this particular photograph. No, this has absolutely no value for military purposes. Plus, you know, the, you don't need... See, there's some people out there who might say, well, maybe they just try to militarily intimidate the people in Moss. They never try anything because, you know, they, they got their whole shit on manager even. Well, but by the way, if you're wondering what, what do people actually do with 3D printers and why were 3D printers invented, making 
miniature tables like this is one of the main reasons why 3D printers were invented. They, especially when 3D printers were new, they tried to create big distraction topics of what could be done with 3D printers so that nobody at all would be able to see the truth behind it. This is one of the main purposes why 3D terrains got invented, uh, 3D printers got invented to make these wee little bits and pieces that go into making these terrains. Now, what is required into this is a 3D scan of all of this thing because I take it this is as, as close, other than the nature stuff, but the buildings and everything, this is as close to realistic as it probably is, including uh, maybe even the colors where you simply have, uh, yeah, it's, it's a 3D scan on an inverted camera and an optical uh, high precision color temperature kind of scan. And that's all you really need and you get the whole thing in, in a computer. Now this is not in a computer what you see here. This is an actually built model terrain table. I mean it's, as I said, bits and pieces are shopped together like the cars here are shopped into this and so on and so forth. But for the most part of it this is an actual terrain table and no this is not some advanced software that renders it to look like a miniature table. This is an actual physical miniature scale uh, terrain table. Once more, I want to return you to the question, why do people do this and this particular photograph, why the fuck do they bother? I mean, let us completely ignore the stupendous amount of work hours that goes into this. Because we're not talking, you know, one hobbyist making the entire world in miniature model. That requires a humongous staff of people who work in shifts 24-7. Why do people do this? <coughs> and, I got an answer for you. Or at least we're, we're nearing one of the probably several answers. Because, as I said, originally such things were done for military purposes which is perfectly legitimate. This here, what you see here, is not for military purposes but, but, if you look down here it says user Lusipios, who actually, I, I find this rather funny, claims that this is an agonist verb. So Lusipio said he made it, she made it, whatever, or sounds male to me, Lucipos, Lucipos says he made it. So let's look at this. What is Lucipos? It doesn't really say much here, unfortunately. It just says, this user comes from Germany. And that's all it is. And this user has intermediate knowledge of English. And he has some... Einvolution! Wahnsinn! So ein Foto! Macht nachdenklich! Verfolgungen! Female! Female. I, I don't know why he writes in English here, right? but hey. Uh, unfortunately, I don't anywhere find a list of whatever other photos uh, that user uh, contributed. But in any case, this photograph is attributed to Lucipos. Now let's click here, Vital Answer Latin, further details. And this is where I figured, oh, so let's click it. Now look what it says here, <clears throat> because if you look at here, it just says Blick auf das neue Most nach Süden, view onto new most uh, towards the south, that's all it says here, and here it just says Most Nove Most, uh, Nove Mesto. And, and that's all it says. And it says, the Neubebauung der Stadt Moos, Nordböhm, Tschechische Republik. And that's all it says. And it also says, 1st of January 2009, for what that may be worth as an information. But if you click here, it says something very different. Because what it says here, actually, there's some further information here, which is just really... Uh, distracting from looking at what is actually of importance. Nothing of this is of importance. What is of importance
is down here, all the way down here. Views from so this in which categories is this views of most okay and views from tower of church of the assumption in most and all of a sudden this gets a completely different uh, flavor because all of a sudden this is understood as made by a bunch of lurchies. They, it's, it's a terrain table. This is not a photography for a bazillion reasons. It is not a computer model for a bazillion reasons. This is a terrain table, partially photo edited, uh, photoshopped, and so on and so forth. It's from the view, it, it is allegedly the view from that Church of the Assumption. Maria Himilfa. I had to look that up because to me assumption in my English vocabulary means, you know, if you assume something, I actually still have it open here. Anname, Vermutung, Übername, Anschauung, and so and so on. I did not know, honestly, you know, atheist that I am, that assumption actually means Maria Himmelfahrt. I had no idea it does. I just knew the other ones. So there's there is a church of the assumption, of course, in Most. But the point I'm trying to make is. The point I'm trying to make is, it makes you wonder, well, as this is not a photograph, that photographer user did not get his ass up there, and then why was that point chosen? Because they're a bunch of lurchies. I want you to understand that this is lurchy doing. I have no idea what they claim. If Mother Mary or Jesarella or whatever uh, who is in heaven, or who is heaven, or who is God, goddess, whatever. And there, there is a lot of things that I've covered in the past where a whole lot of Lord Jesus have very bizarre notions, in even, I mean, even for their standards, bizarre notions. I want you to understand that you, you need to rightly understand this. This is not the military saying, no, look here. This is the fucking lurches sin. Oh, we look through the eyes of Mary unto all of these mortal fuckers who live in all of these little houses. Ooh, the mother of Mary apparently likes building terrain tables, which I find very interesting. I would have thought that Mary would like building terrain tables. But, oh, Mary sees everything. This is lurches responsible for this shit. Lurches, ladies and gentlemen. Not military. Not anything the fuck else. Lurchies. This is lurchy doing that they make crap like this. And the interesting thing is, you you have you don't really see that uh, that information anywhere except all the way down there, and only because it's an own category. It, it is not mentioned anywhere. I, I I must admit in the past. You know, back when I, just because I am intelligent, and any intelligent people want to know, Wissenshunger, Wissensdurst is what intelligent people have, where stupid people have uh, no idea. Okay? So, back when I just, when I first noted these terrain tables, quite a while back now, uh, and I just look at a few examples, uh, I, I didn't back then actually bother checking for what categories it might have been in. But this here is a photograph that does not depict anything of any importance. This is absolutely no military uh, uh, connection. This is because of this here. Views from Tower of Church of the Assumption in Moss. This is a bunch of lurchies doing this. You might want to ask yourself, you might want to ask yourself uh, what exactly the lurchies have to do with the racetrack, if they have something to do with the racetrack, but this particular photograph is clearly done by lurchies. There is meaning to the lurchies and to the makers of this in oh, the, the, uh, the Mother Mary allows us to, I don't know, look into these people's minds. Because, oh, she can go into the tower and look at it, oh! And for any of those who might say, okay, so is this a Catholic church? I want to tell you, 
it sees being a Catholic church around the time, uh, somewhere in between First and Second World War, if it ever was a Catholic church. It's not the freaking point if that's a Catholic church. There is no Catholic church, RCC, anyhow, anymore, anyway. I want you to understand that this is the doing of fucking lurchies, and they attribute lurching, delusional, uh, mumbo-jumbo crap importance into having a Mediterranean displayed through the eyes of Mary. That is what you see here. I want you to grasp, best as possible, the full extent of their utter madness. I want you to grasp the full extent of their utter madness. Now, going back to most, the city entry at Wikipedia. This is the German. This is the German one. One of the things that I have really become a bit of a connoisseur in a in a, uh, in a way because it, it makes me it makes me giggle every fucking time is what exactly the fucking idiots of Fix Money and especially the Lurchies consider of historic importance. Uh, and the, the sheer doing of Fix Mundi over the decades. Here, for example, this piece of shit here, in, in, don't worry, it's in the to be annihilated territories of Europe. Uh, this piece of shit here, we little, how many, how many people are there? 33,000 lousy fuckers. If you just, if all, all you have to do really is just look at the schools. There's the Anne Frank School, there's the Konigenbertrich School. There is the Calvin School, of course, of course, because they're all Protestant allergies. That's what they are. And so on and so forth. And I have been explained in the past how these Städte Partnerschaften have been, before I abolished them all, severely worked for unspeakable inhuman subjection of mankind and all the fuckers that they consider important such as this here horrendous fucker I have the entry open this is see you have to look at this photo right and understand it this is basically a wee little poodle doggy that the owner put in like you know human clothes and gave a little uh, human sunglasses on the poodle this is what you have here. This is a Judentier, which is in attire and in hairstyle to make it appear like it were a human being. That is what you see in this photograph. If you just read what it actually says here, if you understand just how long Fix Mundi have been fucking around, and if you understand the timeline for this particular single little fucker of a whole lot of fuckers, that is all you got to do. If you understand the fact that this here little thing actually continues for two paragraphs here. If you understand this here little shit, if you understand that he went as far as gave the fucker an own park, luckily in Floyd stuff, there's a cross. Let me show you Floyd stuff. That's across the Danube, no longer part of Vienna, but of course in Finland, and that park will get a new name. This is one of the many, 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 many fuckers in Fex Mundi. And this is who they consider important on Wikipedia. You know, it's, you, it, it is, I know you lack that scale and, ta and I, I'm here, I'm not addressing the, uh, the, the actual Fex Mundi, but some other people who might be watching this, the willing executioners to a certain extent, and anybody else who might stumble across this, you still lack the experience for one but also the skill so to speak that is a soft skill but it is a skill you can develop it at first glance understanding what crap you have at all mentioned and you you you, you can you can almost blindly click through the propaganda crap fest that is wikipedia and you have crystal clear understanding of the screaming obscenity of Fex Mundi. 
But this video was just to explain to you how it's not about that little Jew, it's about actually this here photograph. That I noted, wait a minute, I, I was, because I was in the past wondering, why the fuck do they bother? I mean, who in their right mind would bother with all that work? What's the significance of it? But that is because I'm an atheist. Well, the significance is that it's seen from some fucking church. That is the significance of this. And that, you know, all these people are seen by God. Where are you seen by God? Well, well, God lives in the church. In the house of God, right? I mean, you know, the house of Moses where Mo lives. And here once more, I do apologize to all Southerners. They want me to do this with a Southern accent. And uh, I was not paying attention to the accent now. I do apologize. It's actually not Southerners. I do want to point that out to you. But then I've pointed that out quite a few times in the past. So I'll continue in the southern accent now that I explain that it's wrong. Well, in the house of Mo is where Mo lives, and the house of God is where God lives. And how can God see? Well, Mo can't see my house. You know? So, like, you know, because it's a little over the hill, and on the other side of the hill, Mo can't see my house. Now, isn't that horrible if God can't see your house? Now, of course, if there's a church somewhere, now there's a house of God, and all the churches, that you, all the houses that you can see from the church is where God's eye can see. And this is not God's eye, this is fucking Mary's eye. We're talking the bitch queens and they're Gisarella and Goddess and Mary as the Trinity Singularity Spawnage creature and so on. I've talked about these things in the past. Understand that this is Lordship. This is lordship. Understand that. All of this crap is lordship. And I just understood that today. You know, once more a case of... Yes, it is in the zero dimensional, but... You know, the, the, the zero dimensional is just there to... You know, it holds truth as truth. You, you, you cannot ask the zero dimensional anything. You actually have to touch on it to actually make it ring as true, so to speak. And as an atheist and as a sane person, not in a billion years, if it hadn't said this right here, at this little entry here, not in a billion years would I have come across the absolute idiocy of this could maybe having to do anything with fucking lurches, you know? But this is proof. I mean, actually, this is what led me to check as proof, check as in make a check in the checkpoints, you know, because this spelled lurching, I looked at it, I thought it through, half a second later it was like, you know, check, this is zero dimensional slash, non dimensional verified, this is lurchy doer. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand the souls of people and what they're doing. This is not militarily threatening anybody. Oh, really? They, they, they have aerial photography? Do they have 3D scans of neighborhoods these days? <gasps> wow, oh, that's so scary. No. This is fucking lurchies. Also, letting the world, at least the inner world of the lurchies know, uh, well, must. Well, don't worry about moss, because uh, we have as a church there. Uh, right? There's a lot of messages conveyed with this here. Understand, though, this is everything about it, lurchy doing. You have been informed.